Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a wiggling text title effect all in Premiere. So I've actually had a few requests on how to do this wiggling text. A lot of you guys might see people like Sam Colder and other travel vloggers popularizing it. And there's people like Baker's Toots who created some After Effects tutorials for some cool wiggling text. So shout out to them, check them out. But I know a lot of you guys are confused with After Effects or maybe you don't have it. And I wanted to show you guys how you can easily do it in Premiere as well. So I'm just using this nice backdrop footage. And let's say we want to add a title text over it. If I go to title, new title, default still, it'll open up my title menu and I can begin typing out whatever I want. So I can write out text or whatever words that I want to use. Now I can also highlight my text and choose whatever font I want. Honestly, get creative with it. I know a lot of you guys just want to use the same exact font that you might see other people use, but there's tons of free, cool, creative fonts out there on sites like defont.com and other places. So use one that you like and one that fits the theme and mood of your videos, and then change it to whatever size you want. And now you can go on the right hand side here under title actions, and you can choose to center it if you want as well. If you want to pick a different color and things like that, you can open up the title properties menu and see a ton of more adjustments. So now I have my text laid out and that will actually just create the text slide for me to grab from my project media bin and actually place into my project. So it's set to five seconds by default, but you can stretch it out to be over however long of a period you want. Now what we're going to do is click on the text layer and open up the effects panel on the right hand side and search for an effect called Turbulent Displace. You can use the search bar or you should find it under the Distort folder in the Video Effects folder. So click and drag this onto the title clip and you should see that it creates a, a little bit of bubbling and distortion. If we look over here on the Effects Control Panel on the left hand side, we can see the Turbulent Displace effect and all the different adjustments we can make to it. So there's different types of displacement you can do. The default is Turbulent, but you could also do Bulges, or twists or smooth twists and there's a few different options for you. Let's just keep it at turbulent for a simple effect and then you can choose the amount. Do you want a crazy amount of distortion like super wavy or do you just want a slight wiggle? In this case if we're just doing a slight wiggle we're going to keep the amount kind of subtle maybe less than 50. You can also choose things like the size which is how big are these distortions so you either have big waves and ripples or small little waves and ripples. Now, you'll notice that the text is distorted, but if we actually play the clip, it's not animating at all. And there's actually a few different ways we can create that wiggling animation with keyframes. So what you'll do is go to the very start of the clip and toggle the stopwatch animation. And there's a few different ways you can do this, like I said. One, you could toggle the stopwatch animation for the offset of the text. And then you can move all the way over to the end of your title text clip and then just increase or change the offset so that it has to cycle through those different position changes and it ends up doing a wiggle over time. So when I play that back, you can take a look and see how the wiggle is going. And in this case, we're actually in kind of like a slowish, like ocean wave type of wiggle, which can look cool if you want. If you wanted it to move faster, then you just have to make the adjustment larger in between the two keyframes. So instead of going from 960, to 2200, I'd probably just want to go twice as much as that if I wanted it to be twice as fast. Alternatively, another way that you could either combine or do on its own to create a wiggle is by doing the same thing with the evolution of the displacement. So you could toggle animation, it starts at zero degrees, and then at the end of the keyframes, you could have it move over to be 360 degrees would be one cycle of animation and you can make it cycle through the loop of displacement a few times so that by the end of it, you also have a wiggling displacement effect. So you can see I actually combined both of them there and got that wiggle. One final thing that I didn't mention yet is the complexity adjustment. And this is kind of similar to the size. This just allows you to add more and more complexity to the distortion. So what you'll see that it does is kind of multiplies the bubbles to be more and more and more. So you just go from big bubbles to small tiny bubbles that take over more of the screen. So that's just a stylistic preference if you want to do more tiny ripples and more complex distortions. So that's how you can create a wiggling text effect right within Premiere Pro. 
If you guys enjoyed this video, then definitely leave a like on it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all of my new videos. You can follow me on social media at Justin Odi Show on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.